All right, enough of the dramatics. I'm back. I'm about to do another helmet, another space suit, another space backpack. Can you imagine that? Second time around. First time, people loved it so much, have to step it up now. What I'm doing is completely different. Not really, though. Uh, most of the stuff that I have here is just part of the collection of junk that I find in, in the house or stuff that I buy at the store just to get this project going. This is a, uh, actually, this is a uh, all made out of foam board and white duct tape, which is going to have the covering on it. I mean, it's not completely done. Inside here is a shelf. It's uh, going to contain the electronics, the sounds. Uh, lights are going to be everywhere on this thing. So you can see it's pretty well reinforced inside there. And uh, it should look pretty good. Uh, successful with the first one. So I went and got another helmet. So this helmet here, it's brand new. And it definitely will fit an adult to kids only it looks kind of big on kids unless the kids are proportioned right for some reason let's take it out this is how it looks it's still wrapped up in the in the cling wrapping plastic that they use hasn't been opened it's a really a cool looking helmet for what the project that I'm going to work on uh, things I'm going to do to this thing are like these little buttons they look like buttons because they sure don't look like lights. They're supposed to simulate lights, you know, like for the O2 sensor and, and all kinds of other things that are supposed to be happening with that. But apparently, uh, to have them lit up, it would probably cost a lot more money than, they, than it's worth. So they, uh, they just leave them like that to make them look like they're, they're lit up. Um, they're actually... Uh, they look pretty good, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to make them a whole lot better. Uh, this hose right here, it's all plastic as you can see, it's painted. The ring around here is plastic painted. Um, just everything looks pretty good. Got the NASA logo on there. That's real decent. I like that. Um, let me open this thing up and see uh, how it really looks. Uh, just punch a hole right here. Inside, you can see the uh, the mock microphone. I'm tearing this plastic open for you so you can see what's going on. One-handed, but you know that's the way it is when you do these kind of YouTube videos. Hopefully, this will inspire somebody to do something better than I'm doing. And, uh, hey, hey, go ahead and put it on YouTube. I'd like to see your work. This is going to be a whole lot better looking than it is. And it says power visor, but there is no power in there. The only power is for the sound inside here. And it comes from one little speaker. You just push the button and you can hear it. not that loud but it um, it serves its purpose what I really liked is when I did one for my granddaughter is this thing here even though it's not electronic it really you know pops open really smooth as you can see and uh, if you get too hot or if she gets too hot and can't breathe just push that button it, it seals real nice good fit all the way around if you can see that and uh, it just it's very sensitive when you just push it, you just barely push it, and watch how smooth it opens. It's really nice. Here's the mock microphone right here. This little speaker that plays back that NASA or the control instructions. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill these out right here, green, blue, and red. You're gonna drill them out, and these are gonna be actual lights that are gonna be working in here. Um, I'm going to have 
probably some kind of lighting in here. And these are going to be well detailed with a real hose going all the way around here. I think you guys will like how it's going to be like it turns out. Now as far as the, uh, the astronaut backpack, it still has a little bit of work to do. I want to reshape it so it doesn't look so much like a box and uh, add a few things. Go to Michael's, get these things, look. They're just pots. They're made out of paper mache. But when I'm done with them, these are actually going to be lights and they will be working. Uh, I'm going to have them coming on with this switch right here. I've got some nice lights that are going to be going inside here. I'm using these uh, frosting decorating tips, you know, cake decorating tips as the bases. And once the base is done, then this is going to sit on top of here and I'll have it so you'll be able to turn it. But I, I may not do so much movement on this thing. I just may just have it kind of solid. You know, chop these down so this looks similar to this. You know, but all the way in the front here. And then the light inside. And this is going to be all painted up. Going to have some lighting on the side here. Going to have some vents going up like this. And this, this is going to be it right here. For the speaker, the speaker that I'm going to be using it's actually pretty loud it's uh, it's not a Bluetooth technology kind of thing but this is one of those things that you adapt to your iPhone and you can play uh, anything you want you record it's USB okay and you can put a card in here right there mini card a micro card almost and this is going to be on the inside here like this sort of way it'll fit like that Okay, and then this is going to be on the outside. Alright, so the sound will come out. I will make a hole and this will be coming through there. So the sounds will come out. The different, uh, you know, NASA instructions to the space shuttle. So stay tuned. I definitely am going to finish this thing. I, oh yeah, and by the way, got these gloves. Home Depot. Pretty cheap. To do, decorate those things up. You know, stitch up some... Uh, Nassau logos or something and duct tape doesn't hurt and uh, they will look pretty good once you get the costume together hoses and all kinds of stuff so stay tuned I think you just might like what I'm going to be doing with this stuff Yoda say good night mm, good night I will bye now thanks for watching